Hi everybody, Adam here. Welcome back to our Lego room. In today's Lego room update video, we've got a lot of different things to cover. We've been making some excellent progress with the Mills Lego track around the perimeter of our layout. We've got a cool project that we're starting in the stairway coming down into our Lego room. And we're gonna be displaying at a show this weekend. So uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the modules that are coming out of the layout for the show and about how we're going to sort of pack and transport some of that. So lots to cover, so let's dive right in and get started. So first off, as I mentioned, we've been making excellent progress with getting the mills track around the perimeter of our layout. This has been a big ongoing project and we're getting oh so close now. We've got just a little bit more of the track ballasting that's needed around that corner module there. And then we need both the, the R120 and R104 uh, under ballast for this corner module here. And then we will have a complete loop. So getting really close. As I mentioned, we're gonna take the layout apart here to transport some of the stuff to the to the train show, but once we've got everything back in here and we get one last order in with a few extra parts that we need, specifically we're short on the, the two by two uh, dark blue gray tiles that we need for the, the underlay ballast. So once we get those in and everything's back in the Lego room, we will be able to finish this off, which is exciting because, you know, as I mentioned, we've been working on this for a while and you know it's been even more parts intensive than i thought it was going to be and i was pretty sure it was going to be very parts intensive so it's an exciting milestone to be really approaching the end of this specific project so let's take a quick walk around the the layout so you can see how this mills track uh, is coming together so you can see here we've got a continuous loop pretty much with the exception of these last two corner modules that starts right here and still have a bit of the uh, the railroad tie plates to put on here to finish that portion of the track off uh, but we've got all the the parts in place for that so that shouldn't take us too long i'm going to be trying to have the trix bricks wood printed railroad railway ties as much as possible uh, i think that both those and the black look nice but where possible i think i'd like to have that wood print because it just adds an extra extra wow factor to the the track so you can see here with our continuous straight away all the way down and you know really love seeing those brown railway ties you know sort of as you going off into the distance there i think it really adds a lot and then we come down to the corner module over here this is the second corner module that i had from before uh, so both of these have been through a train show already and they've been working out well in the the layout here so quite happy with them now we get as we start to round the corner here you'll see we've got the the straight straight away there as well as the uh the switch here the double switch so we've got two sidings as well as the two mainline tracks on that particular uh set of modules and once i'm done the the mainline track and getting that continuously around the the layout with the mills modules I'll come back and finish off these two sidings here. Uh, just not prioritizing those at the moment because I wanna get the, uh, you know, put everything into getting a continuous loop and then we can start filling out those extra bits. But excited for the potential of those. I think they're gonna be a great place to uh, stage trains that aren't active around the, the layout. Uh, you know, just one of many places for displaying trains around the, this new uh, set of track that we've got running around the, the room here. And this is one of the modules that we will be taking to the train show. 
It's a great one with those, uh, you know, the main line track, but then also with the two uh, staging areas off to the side. So super useful piece of Mills module that we've put together and looking forward to running on that this weekend at the train show. Let's move over to the other side of the layout there so you can see how the track continues on beside beside that point there as we head towards the new corner modules. One other point that's worth noting here, still having a little bit of an issue at this point in the uh, in the layout where there's a bit of a height difference between the tabletop on this table and the bridging piece that is underneath here. So you can see just leads to a little bit of a height discrepancy and the, you know, the track doesn't fit together seamlessly there as a result. So I'm gonna do a little bit more work on that uh, once these modules come off for the train show, just to try to ease the discrepancy a bit there and make the transition a little more fluid. Now, as we move past this switch module here, we're back into some straightaway that heads into the first of the new corner modules that we put together. Now, over time here, I'm going to swap out some of the plates that I'm using on top of a few of these corner modules just to get a little more consistency in terms of color. The four by eight plates that I use are becoming fairly scarce in uh, Canada, at least in large quantities. So I've, you know, where I've needed to, I've just mixed and matched the colors a bit. I don't think it's gonna be a huge deal because I do want to go and put some more terrain and general decor, uh, landscaping over top of those modules once everything's done. So. I don't think you'll end up seeing a lot of that uh, sort of ground plate work there, but just know that's why that is kind of a bit of a mix match color wise at the moment and that will change over time and I think it should look fine. Then from that corner module, we carry on into the second corner module that we finished over there. Uh, I think that one looks cool happy with the the gray uh, plates there in general you'll notice that i use them there uh, on this particular corner module here and then on that one and the reason for that is i thought you know even once the decor is done some of that should come through uh, and given that this is going to be kind of a rail yard industrial area on this edge of the layout i thought that gray dark gray black uh, would be a good color that would sort of fit with the theming of that particular section of track. So we'll see how that goes over time, but that's the reason for um, my thinking on the color choice for the plates on those particular corner modules. Now, as we continue to move along here, now we run into the, you know, the first of the incomplete corner modules. The R120 under ballast here is almost finished, very close to being done. And then we still need to do the R104 on that particular section. And I would like to, you know, depending on how we make it all sort of fit here, I don't know that it's gonna be possible on this particular one, but on that particular section of track there, that's what I plan on replacing with the lift out bridges. If I'm, you know, if I can make it work out, I would like to do the same thing over here as well. Um, just because it'll be a nice place to, you know, eliminate, if I was able to eliminate that board that's under there, that transitions between the two tables, uh, would make it a lot easier to get into the layout. And, you know, it just eliminates that, uh, the potential of height discrepancies between the different, um, the tables if things are off slightly in terms of the height there. That's even something I could consider back over here if we moved uh, this module forward and we went for just the, the lift out bridge there, uh, would make it a little less important that there's a bit of a discrepancy uh, between the surface of this 
this bridging wood and the tabletop surface there. So things to consider. Uh, again, that I'll be working on those lift out bridges once the uh, the main loop is all done on mills so that we can get into running the trains, but uh, just something that I will be investigating in the future and looking at, uh, at implementing. Now, as we come from this corner module, we move into this current straightaway worth of track here. Uh, and I did this straightaway as a temporary stopgap uh, so that we can get the complete loop of the track before we work on implementing the crossovers here to get you into the exterior sidings and into this interior track, which will be an industrial sort of area, be a train yard, as well as uh, facilitating the, the grain elevator here. So that'll be how trains get on and off the track, the mainline track and into this particular area. And that's gonna be just another level of Mills uh, sort of module creation and uh, track ballast. So for the time being, I put the, the straightaways in there to simplify things so that we can get uh, that initial, initial loop up and running. And then we can work on swapping in the, uh, the switches afterwards. And then that brings us down to the final corner here at the very beginning where we started. And this will be, you know, once we get those last BrickLink orders in with the, the two by two tiles, uh, we'll be able to finish off this section as well. And, you know, Overall, like I said, really happy with how all of the, um, the ballast work and mills work has gone here. Uh, super part intensive, but I think this is going to, well, it already looks really cool. And I'm happy with the fact that, you know, now it gives us uh, all of our track on mills modules, which will make it easier to grab particular sections of the layout for train shows and it's just going to make it a lot easier to move things around the city and the layout in general uh, when we're doing sort of reorganization passes across everything so super happy with where things are at and you know with just a little bit more work once this next bricklink order comes in we'll be able to have both loops active and running around the layout again. Now, before we carry on, I did want to highlight again the awesome BrickLink Designer Program modular construction site uh, set that we built and have added to the city here. It's still sitting in its temporary home, really happy with how it looks and as I mentioned in the video looking at this particular modular, I'm expecting that it's going to live back in the second row of the city over there once uh, we continue to flush out that back part of the city, but a great addition to our Lego city and I think a real eye catcher. I know a number of people have mentioned that I should look into uh, really you know, extending the, the height of the the building or at the very least the crane. So that's definitely something I will be looking at. And as I've mentioned before, I have a larger construction crane uh, that I will be putting back together and getting into uh, integrated into the city as well. So I think both of those are gonna look really cool together. And this is just an excellent modular building here that uh, you know every time I come down to the room it really catches my eye and I'm happy to to have it in the layout. Now as I mentioned we are starting to work on a project in the stairway coming down into the Lego room where we're going to be hanging up several of these pegboards from Ikea and using them to display our Lego Speed Champion sets. So the idea is that the, the cars will be on the, the pegboard, probably in this orientation. So facing upward so that uh, one, 
I think it's going to be a cool way to to see the cars and to be able to appreciate them. But two, with the the cars being uh, held up vertically on the the pegboard, it's going to be a low footprint way to display these rather than having them sticking out on a shelf that really sort of narrows the walkway coming down into the Lego room. They'll be, you know, nicely vertical, which is a low footprint, still gives lots of uh, space to walk by them on the stairs, but it'll let me uh, put up, you know, all of the different Speed Champion sets that we have, uh, whereas currently I don't have a good way for displaying all of them and having them all out at the same time. So more to come on that project. We'll show all the ins and outs of how we're uh, hanging these, uh, these Speed Champion cars off of the pegboard. Uh, and we'll show you the final, the final place on the wall where they're going to go. But it's a bit of a sneak peek at that upcoming project, which I'm really excited about. I think it's going to be uh, an ex excellent display area. And like I said, will let us have all of our Speed Champion sets uh, sort of built and out in a, uh, an excellent way uh, that should be pretty fun and eye-catching to, to look at as you come down into the, the Lego room. So quite excited about that. Expect to see a video in the coming weeks uh, as we finish up that project and start to get all of those Speed Champion cars transitioned over onto the pegboards. Now, as I mentioned, we are going to be packing things up in the layout here to take them to a train show over the weekend. Really excited about that. I think that, you know, it's always fun to go and display at, you know, Lego shows and general train shows. So uh, I think it should be a lot of fun to have everything set up there. I'll be displaying with some other members of my lug and you know looking forward to that process but you know the tough part of that is that as a result you know i'm going to be taking things apart in the city here and getting everything packed up so the city will be a bit of a mess for the next week or so uh, you know because as i take stuff out uh, and then bring stuff back in it's always a bit of a process to get everything uh, you know back to the way it was before but Definitely expect some videos as I go through the packing process and, you know, from the, the train show itself. And then afterwards, as we get everything integrated back into the city, uh, a number of the modules across the city are coming to the train show. We're going to be taking this corner module as well as the corner module down there. Both wind turbines will be coming. The grain elevator is going to come as well. And we'll be bringing a whole bunch of our straight track, our switch module in the back there will be coming, and possibly a few other buildings in addition to some of the trains as well. So lots of stuff ahead on that front. So definitely keep an eye out for those videos, both the... Uh, the ones as we sort of move stuff in and out, but also the great videos that we will be taking from the uh, the train show as well to highlight not only the stuff that we've brought there to set up, but some of the other great Lego builds and just the awesome train uh, displays in general. Now, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And thank you very much for watching. We will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.